Welcome. I'm your host, Robert Wilson, with Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity. Tonight, we're going to talk about Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity, Hypnoacuity instead of hypnotherapy. And the reason for hypnotherapy, hypnoacuity, is hy hypnoacuity quiets the thinking memory mind and it shuts off the trauma and drama that usually goes along with therapy. And something I've learned through my years here is, is people are addicted to, to, hip, uh, to therapy. Because I was going through class and I had a lady come in who was doing some uh, classes and, and some hypnotherapy sessions. This one lady says, walks in and says, I can't do nothing for me. I'm just here for the therapy because I like therapy. And I says, and then I kind of got to think, I said, well, people are kind of addicted to therapy and something happens unsavory in somebody's life. They just say, I'm going to go get therapy. And people never rise out of therapy. Because therapy is a human, is a thinking, knowing can, uh, representation. As hypnoacuity is, it dissolves the trauma drama of therapy. And therapy is the act of caring for someone with medication or remedial training. As acuity is the ability to listen, observe, and question everything clearly to rise out of your current situation because you. You're, you're rising out of uh, your thinking memory mind. And something a lot of people never really express to people, your viewpoints, opinions, and beliefs have as much to do with holding you into yesterday as anything. Because once some representations of something, your opinions, viewpoints, and beliefs, they're activated. And if they're like mine, I'm just talking about mine. Mine are stubborn and hard-headed because I, I embedded them that way. That's something I've really opened up to. It's the stubbornness of our own viewpoints, opinions, and beliefs keeps us stuck in where we're at. And, you know, you think in therapy as an acuity, you listen and question your way out of things and everything is natural. And something I've discovered with all my uh, years of experiencing this, everything I learned is what other people want me to know. Everything I comprehend is my own wisdom, insight, and clarity opening the way for me to understand. And something I do with cowboy wisdom hypnotherapy or hypnoacuity is I never, we never talk about the past right away because we start them on a path of forward, of forward movement of inspiration, their dreams, or something they want to do that allows them to have something to, dis, to communicate away yesterday and communicate with today. And see, that's something you shed, shred, and communicate away the dismay, but you, you open up to listen, question, and communicate with today. See, that's something I learned in self-help, personal growth, self-improvement, and all the psychology books is they're always dealing with yesterday, and they want you to go back to yesterday. Well, if there's something happening in your present moment events, and it's activating something within you, it's present moment. See, the, the subconscious mind has no clue whether it's past, present, or whatever. It just is in there. And our subconscious mind carries so much stuff that we have no clue that's in there. It's like three to five things a second your conscious your sub your conscious mind can register, but it's like forty thousand. It's just unbelievable how much goes. And something I've really opened up to: whatever was occurring with your parents when you was four, uh, from the womb to five years old was straight in. So however your parents communicated between the womb and five years old is probably close to the way you communicate with today. Mine was, and I had to go through and admit it. But I got to admit it to get rid of it because I can question what I can admit, I can question. You can never think and know your way through life because think and know is what somebody else wants you to do 
and thinking no puts you in cubicles of control. And everything you learn from the outside sources, they put it in a cubicle control. And something else that we've done from the outside world is when we was in school, we had to answer everything perfect towards the teacher the way they wanted it. And that's where the perfection programming comes in. And something I, re I really express here is sovereign liberation. Sovereign is uncontrolled by outside sources. Liberation rises you out of the mind and open, unwinds your trails of enlightenment. And sovereign expansion, see, with them words and the way it is said, there is no control. But with change, heal, create, transformation, forgiveness, there's control with memory. And with sovereign liberation, autonomous expansion, politically incorrect inspiration, grounded in cowboy wisdom and outlaw optimism, there's no control and there's no memories and there's nothing to take you back to yesterday. So that is where I really opened up to understand Life is liberating invitations. All the chaos, the challenges, all the crap that's going on today in the external world, that is the universe's light. That's a, light, uh, a liberating invitation for people, you and me, to open up to our innovative wisdom to discover a better way to experience life. But see, this is how I'm going to explain this. This is how the education system, business, and all that we're trying to get out of the situation just the way we got into the situation. And we think, well, oh, we'll do this and this. And life is about people, never about business. That's something that was entrenched, to, entrenched into us from a socialized school system. And see, that's where we're at here. So this is where your individual talents, innovation, your dreams, and by the way, your dreams are your natural talents to rise you out of it, to, to expand you, energize you. If you open up to get a liberating lingo of mine is expand, energize, enterprise experience, appreciation, enterprising energy, all them words. I took change, heal, create, transformation, forgiveness, think, know, learn, knowledge, and thoughts out of my life. Because them are all, in, I embedded them from outside sources that I use my self teachings to preach to me what I did wrong. Self teachings are preachings of, of just posticity to me. And I'm going to express the way I expanded and energized my life. If you give yourself permission to rise and energize and expand out of your current situation, with with a Picasso prowess to color design your life, you rise out of it. And see, it's the images of our inspirations that will send us, uh, that will rise us out of the current situations. How do you wake up in the morning on Tuesday and the same stuff is going on Friday? That's something I really opened up to. And the question for that is, why is today the best day of my life? Because I witnessed the light, living the liberating invitation, fostering emancipating events, encounters, experiences to enterprise my my sovereign wise to listen to the insight and clarity of me. You know, you have the abilities to do everything, but when you stop trying to be in your life, to be of your life, to witness, observe, listen, color, and energize and innovate. You rise to a better way. And that's where Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity is. Before we start on anything, you have I open you up to discover and begin your path of enlightenment out of it. See, when you start just trying to heal the past, you're just staying in the cast and the cemented in the past. You know, and that's something I've really opened up to. And that's why I like hypnoacuity over hypnotherapy. Because acuity is about the ability to listen, observe, question everything, and clearly rise out of it. See, shift and all that, change, heal, create, transformation, 
all that. It's just a sideways movement. But when you give yourself permission to rise, what do you feel? You rise with risk takers ingenuity, streaming sassy tenacity to understand. You encompass the grit and get and go to galvanize the optimism. See, something I really discovered in uh, in to do, discovered with my clients is, is we get them, I, I show you a way and you start beginning by understanding inspirations rise you out of your current situation. And see, you can never dance on the dance floor of freedom trying to stay stuck in the prison of yourself. Think knowing self help thinking, knowing self help, personal growth, self improvement, psychology books are a prison. They keep you in the prison, making you think you feel good, where hypnoacuity allows you to feel good, to galvanize the optimism, opening dreamers dexterity. Mm-hmm. And see, that's something I really wanna express to people is you, you you encompass a unique talent that will rise you out of it, but it may, it may never, ever fit into the socialized school system, the third world enslaving business mindsets of the world. And that's something I really want people to open up to. The business world today has the same mindset as our ancestors. So when you can understand, and, and not, don't take this, Open up to this and question you this, because if you listen to the Wall Street people, they think they own people. And they really have uh, uh, turned their nose up egotistical arrogance towards the middle class of this country. And I'm going to tell you all this. I am for the middle class. I've been middle class all my life. But that means I'm the banker of the world. And something else I'm going to say on this is, Capitalism is corporate socialism. That that's something is you got to admit to what is out there, and that's going to be a whole new deal. But when you can listen up, you got to open up to understand who's manipulating you, who's controlling you, and where your control come from. And see, for me, my parents come through the '30s, and I actually had to start understanding more about the '30s than I did everything else. Because the 30s was a very interesting time. And something else that's really one of my favorite things is if it wasn't for the 30s, would have the United States defeated Hitler? That's an interesting question. Because I'll tell you what, my parents had a work ethic that's unbelievable. But one thing my parents did is they had the integrity. You know, we didn't have... I didn't realize till today, last week, you know, the less material channels I have, the richer I am. The less material channels I have, the richer internally I feel. Peace flows in prosperity when I listen and trust my wisdom, insight, and clarity. My treasures, my gold mine is my Intuition, imagination, inspiration, innovation, listening, uh, wisdom, insight, clarity, and let go of learning to comprehend that I am very talented. But my talents will never fit in to the, the boundaries and the cubicles of society's controlling ways. The education system, I'm going to be right up front, is a limitation. It keeps you blocked and in a controlling deal. On something else I want to really talk to you about is hypnosis is never sleep. When you do when you're under hypnosis or in the or in the relaxation of hi- hypnosis, you're wide awake. I mean you're wide awake. You hear everything. And once you go under and you really enjoy it, you really relax. And that's the thing. You relax that gatekeeper, you relax that uh, inner dialogue. You just become liberated, and you're willing to communicate away all of your dismay. But you also can color and design and image your dreamers' paradises. Hypnosis also works. 
I deal a lot with pain management, and that's what I really want to get into because if anybody's like me, they had too much youth. See, it isn't old age. It was too much youth. You know, bouncing. I thought I could be a basketball. Well, I was a basketball in my youth. Now I'm kind of like a snowball. I just go splat. But that's okay. Life is fun. And see, that's something else we've let go of in this world. We think having fun and relaxation is un, is a is a pessimistic way. So we've been taught busy and productive, which is really dizzy and delusional. When you open up to facilitate and participate in patient embrace your life with wisdom, insight, clarity, insight, uh, inspiration, innovation, imagination, and allow your free flowing energy to flow up. You relax and enjoy life. People are so busy going nowhere, they don't even know they've they've never went anywhere. You know, material channels are good. I love it. Money's good, but the energy of money is what I'm really opened up to understand. And it's really what the reason I really want people to understand is when you relax and start understanding your flowing energy. You expand now, energizing, rebellious gumption, yes, and you're a blessing. And something I'm really listening for now is I used to be high speed, no grease. It had to be on the go all the time. Yeah, that was just a crock of dumping. That was just a crock of perfect bullshit. Let's just be honest about it. One thing you open up to, when you open up to admit you encompass things like from your parents and stuff, and you start admitting it and getting rid of it and communicating in a way, it becomes fun to tell the world how hard-headed and stubborn I was. I was the best at being stubborn and hard-headed. Now I can laugh at it because it's out here now. It, it's I'm liberating myself. And then when I get one of them little stubborn streaks, I can go, oh, Mr. Stubborn, you're showing up. It's time for you to get your Rump roast out of here and go be barbecued by the universe. When you can admit you're imperfect with athletic, if you're when you're open to admit you're athletically imperfect and sovereign and uh, liberating imperfection in action, you're awesome. Celebrating today, innovating, optimistic. Now, that is something I'm really. I'm going to do some classes. I'm going to do a podcast on that imperfection is the liberation of my intuitive magic, propelling everyday riches, celebrating today because I'm uninhibited and and enjoying the unhe- unrehearsed events, encounters, and, and uh, experiences of my life. It's the sooner you open up to understand life is unrehearsed, uneducated, uh, and unexplained, you open up to your fame and fortune of your festive audacity magically expanding through life. See, we're trying to put a pure, educated world into a flowing energy. And when you put your thinking, knowing mind in the flowing energy, you block the flow. And how how have we become stubborn and hard-headed thinking business and education are going to take us to wherever we want to go? Business and education have this country and the world locked, blocked in yesterday's BS. People's intuition, imagination, innovation is what's going to rise this country, and you encompass it. And the more you stop listening to all the gurus and their poodoos and open up to listening to your talents, the more you'll tantalize. That's what cowboy wisdom, hypnoacuity is. It's about liberation. Sovereign liberation, uh, so autonomous expansion, politically kick, politically incorrect inspiration that dissolves per, politically correct perfection programming, grounded in cowboy wisdom and outlaw optimism with an F O F that uh, audacity. The thing about it is, everything we've done since I've been alive, since 1955, the outside and the physical world is doing the same, but it's become more corrupt and even bigger. The only way the world rises is with your innovative intuition and talents. People will rise this out of it. 
the education system of today and the politicians and everybody, they're going to keep sinking us in the dimmery of life. It's up to you to rise and shine. And what I'm really saying is the entrepreneur from in here is your for sure foresight, optimism, optimizing, robust, savvy, unleashing the rebellious energy. Always remember this. It's the troublemakers and the rebellious that rise the world out of the tyranny of yesterday. And I'm proud to be a troublemaker. Because the troublemakers are trend-setting revolutionists opening unfathomable bold life events, magically actuating keen, enterprising, rebellious energy. You got to be a little bit of a hell raiser to get out of yesterday's mundane malarkey. And that's what cowboy wisdom hypnoacuity is. Because I want you to understand, hypnosis is never sleep. Hypnosis is an awakening, but it allows you to communicate within you freely. And that's something. And Cowboy wisdom hypnoacuity is about pain management. It's about the it's about the liberation of pain through understanding. Pain comes from emotions and many things. That's going to be next week's uh, hypnotherapy uh, hypnoacuity podcast. And take the words out of your life that keep the memories of your events and experiences of yesterday alive, and open up to expressing words that liberate you from you. And the cowboy hypnoacuity is I liberate me from me, my viewpoints, opinions, beliefs, parents, uh, self-taught torment, and ancestor survival mode thinking, and third world enslaving mindsets. As I liberate me from me, I'm free. I am Robert A. Wilson. I want to thank you for listening and, in, and enjoying your day. My website is mycowboywisdom.com. My email is robert at mycowboywisdom.com. And may your life be as blessed as you are a blessing to me and the world.